Welcome back to Mavros Films. Lately I had a chance to use a wireless follow focus system for my new Sony A7 S3 and actually with my anamorphic lenses they are all manual in an outside shooting and this follow focus system really helped me also with my gimbal and stuff that I was using with it outside. I was using it to shoot a car show and it actually helped me out to get different type of shots with ease and with a fast follow focus motor. This wireless follow focus system is from PD Movie and it's called the Live Air 2. And we are going straight into the review and just like in any of my reviews we are going straight to an unboxing, spec talk, usability and actual outside shoot and the conclusion. In the box you will find a lot of accessories that will give you all the options to actually rig your camera and make a dedicated handle with the follow focus system on it. I was using it with a dedicated cage on my Sony a7S3. So I wasn't using all the accessories but they are here and if you need them you can actually rig up and build up something else with it. Just like me having the follow focus controller rigged up on the back of my gimbal. In the box we will find a lot of things. Back plate, top plate, handle connector, main handle, hot shoe mounts, hex spanner, one quarter screws, M4 screws, one quarter camera screw, road clamp, 50 mm focus rod, the follow focus motor and the focus controller. In the box you will also find the batteries and the battery charger with the micro USB-C cable. I wish it was USB-C. What's great about this system, it does not have a lot of buttons, actually just one on the focus knob and one of the motor and actually once you turn it on they kind of connect instantaneously and give you the full focus motor control that you need. Actually just pressing one long time the calibration will start and actually get to the one end and to the other end of the lens and actually then getting straight in the center and you are actually after 5 to 7 seconds ready to use your follow focus in your way and ready to shoot whatever you need. It will put the in and out points on your lens and do the calibration for itself. One big difference when using it rather than the built-in one on my Moza is that the focus throw works faster and I'm able to reach both starting and ending points of the focus faster if I need it and it recognizes my actual speed of my fingers. When using my gimbal and having it rigged up with all my system monitors and batteries, the weight of it makes me hold the gimbal with two arms and a better choice is having the option to displace my full focus controller whatever I want and it makes it easier to use the whole system switching the focus with my fingers. Even on my small rig, handheld rig, it's easier to use the full focus motor with the knob than actually manually the focus with the manual focus knob or having the lens turn with my hands. This is why I can hold the rig just like I want it and still have the option to focus with my fingers not moving by intended holding position. With this system you don't have to actually bring your instruction manuals with it. It's actually having a dedicated graph behind the follow focus motor and behind the full focus wheel with all instruction and how to use it. The battery of the controller is stated to last up to 10 hours and the focus motor around 6 hours. I use it for shooting at around 5 hours straight without any charging and it worked without problems. And the actual battery strength is rated with the colors of the LEDs. So you have red, yellow, green and white. So you will have four different LED types for the amount of battery left. The range of the follow focus system is up to 100 meters. So if you are using it as a follow focus system with a monitor there should be no problems whatsoever. What are my final thoughts? This is a really well thought system that has a simple yet great design. The things that could have been done a little different are the actual battery design. It's not that I don't like it but you have to actually remove the battery from the motor to have it actually stop working. There is not an off button. On the focus knob the button actually turns it off. So maybe a firmware update to have it off with a button combination. The other thing is the micro USB port on the charger. The charger actually gets a micro USB cable but I prefer USB-C. The fast focus and synchronization while switching lenses is the actual thing that I need so I will be using it in my future projects. If you have any questions feel free to comment down below I will be happy to answer them all. And don't forget the first link in the description will guide you straight to the buying page of the PD Movie Live Air 2. 
Until my next time, don't forget to subscribe with the bearing icon on so you can get notified every time I make a new video. See you in my next one.